Oh Lord, bless this mess. Bless this mess, baby. We gotta clean all this up. All my legends just decided to crash. My horror figures, some G.I. Joes I had to mess around with for the uh, production of Kamakura. What is daddy supposed to do with all that, huh? What am I supposed to do with all that? <sighs> this is what being a collector is all about, folks. You play and you have to put away. Ain't that right? Ain't that right, little man? Yeah, look at you in your little raccoon outfit. Wait, we gotta feed the baby for a second. <laughs> Attaboy. Happening, fellow hunters, fellow G.I. Joe fans, fellow Marvel fans, just fellow action figure nerds. Mike the Hunter here with some more action figure fun with some exciting news. As you saw a couple of days ago, I posted a YouTube short saying that I made another G.I. Joe film. I know I told you guys it would be a while um, until I do a continuation of the first G.I. Joe film I did, and that one is still definitely going to be far out since I still have to get all of the newer figures to make the film. I just completed Kamakura, A Tale in Tokyo, which is going to be a epic origin story that I made of my own uh, with Kamakura. It's not exactly the same as the actual G.I. Joe comics, um, so this one's a bit more of a Mike the Hunter twist. And you know, since Mike the Hunter is such a nice guy, I'm gonna give you guys a sneak peek of the first minute of the film right after a short message from our sponsor. Roll the clips! Fellow collectors, are you sick and tired of trying to fit into ordinary t-shirts? I was in the same boat. But then I came across into the AM. Not only do these t-shirts offer me a great athletic fit, but their website offers a multitude of these sick designs that you can't get anywhere else. Ever since I started wearing these t-shirts, I feel like my outfit just pops out more, as well as my personality and my respect for art. Click the link in my description below and you will get access to a 10% discount store-wide on Into the AM. Don't forget to enter the promo code Mike203 and let them know Mike the Hunter sent you. With that being said, folks, let's get on with the action figure. <sighs> <sighs> <laughs> you will get there soon enough, brother. You must focus on your breathing. The further you stretch, the higher you kick. Now let's focus on power. You are not using your focus. Why are you using your anger? You need to empty your mind. Opponents are not breaking down by emotion. Remember, brother. An angry mind is a narrow mind. <laughs> Empty your mind. Your strength is there, but you will need more work with meditation. That's enough training for today. Let's go and rebuild your strength. Dinner is on you. Mmm. Mmm. An angry mind is a narrow mind, folks. Yeah, it's gonna be that kind of movie. This movie's gonna bring you dojo vibes, ninja master vibes, man. You guys are gonna love it. So this guy right here is going to be the star of the movie, all right? This is going to be a 30-minute film, 29 minutes and like 43 seconds, something like that. And with this one... I put as much love into it as I did the first one, but I sprinkled just a little extra on it just to make you guys really get the cinematic feel uh, when it comes to my imagination. If you're into ninja movies, you're gonna like this one. If you're into dark stealth type of movies, you're gonna like this one. When it comes to these films, I try to keep them as minimal as possible because they take a lot of time. Um, you know, usually when I do an unboxing of a new figure, such as this guy, I'm gonna be unboxing this guy with you guys today just to give you a little action figure fun. I really try to just keep it maybe like five to 10 minutes, but man, when you're like a mad scientist and you just think of shit, you think of these ideas, you have to write them down and then you don't want to just like ignore those ideas. You want to bring them to life. 
So that's what happened with Kamakura. Uh, Kamakura was supposed to be maybe like a 10, 15 minute movie of just him, you know, fighting a couple guys. But like I said, man, the mad scientist got carried away. I thought, man, it would be sweet if I did this. It'd be sweet if I did it this way. And maybe at the end, I'll do this. And it just, it gets crazy. It gets carried away from there. Um, you know, when I could be putting more videos out for you guys more constantly, I'd rather just take a little time away and make something more juicy for you guys. You know what I mean? Instead of feeding you guys little crackers here and there, I'm going to give you guys a whole loaf of bread. All right. I don't know if that made sense. That was pretty stupid. There's a better way to say that. There's there's a better way to say that. Uh, I, uh, fuck. Instead of giving you a quick 10 minute little unboxing, you know what I mean? I, I, I want to give you guys entertainment, man. That's what I love doing. I love entertaining people. And from the last film that I made, it seemed like it's still entertaining people to this day. People say they've gone back and watched it like four times. And I'm like, dude, that like, that means a lot. You guys really care to see more of my work. And I can't ignore that as a creator. You know what I mean? You got to give the people what they want, but at the same time, you got to just sort of learn to slow it down, pace it a little bit and understand that there's going to be more than enough time to do these movies for the rest of my life. So let's talk about the release date. All right. Release date. I'm over here talking like it's an entire two hour John Wick film. I plan on launching Kamakura, a tale in Tokyo on Wednesday, March 29th. Get your popcorn ready, get your Kamakura figure ready right there next to you because you're gonna want them next to you after this. And enjoy, man. It's, it's gonna be a great fun time. So I mainly made this video just to give you guys a heads up on that, um, kind of hype it up a little bit, get the word out there. And you know, that way when it drops, it gets the attention that it deserves. And especially like, I, I hate that there's GI Joe fans out there that don't know those videos exist because they might really enjoy them, man. They might never, they might've never seen anything like that before, especially with the, uh, the classified series. So if you have a friend of a friend who really loves the GI Joe franchise, who really loves the GI Joe show, um, dude, get the word out there. Let them know, hey, this dude uh, is planning to make these movies from here on out. And if you like seeing a grown man play with his action figures and play motion, you're gonna like these. So like I said, I do plan on doing more of these, but let's talk about that for a second here. When I say it takes a lot of time, it really does. So first it starts with writing ideas. Then you gotta talk script. You know, what's the dialogue gonna be like between these characters? Is it gonna make sense? Is it too much? Is it too little? Then you gotta actually film yourself playing with the action figures. Then you gotta take those clips, edit them in at the right time. Then you gotta do sound effects. And lastly, you do the voiceovers, okay? Then you gotta go back and revise the entire movie and, and, and you know, make sure that everything made sense. Everything was in like chronological order. So, it takes at least a month or two to get one of these things done. Now, with that being said, with anyone who is really good at something, they obviously want to get something back, right? Like you want to earn, how do I say this, man? The amount of time that I'm willing to put into these films to make them that much better, that much juicier, the amount of money that I'm putting down to get all the figures for these videos. It only makes sense for me to try to earn something back. Me as a YouTube creator, I depend on YouTube ads, uh, Google AdSense for you know my, my currency on these videos. But what I'm looking to do in the future, and I wanted to get your guys' feedback on this as well, because at the end of the day, it depends on you guys, man. You guys are the people who appreciate these films. And you guys understand the passion it takes. You understand the hard work it takes to do these types of things. So I was thinking about doing a membership for these movies, man. Um, obviously I do regular videos, you know, like this one. Um, unboxings would be regular videos, but when it comes to the actual movies that I put a lot of time and effort in, um, I wanna try to, you know, beef up the currency a little bit. So when it comes to making more, I can continue to make more. Um, the idea would be that Mike the Hunter would be charging about $4.99 for a subscribed membership, uh, which gives you access to all these movies that I'm going to be making. A membership where obviously you get cool access to, you know, great emojis for Mike the Hunter, funny GIFs, uh, premium videos that you can only access on that membership channel. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think that would be a good thing? Because I'll be honest with you, when it comes to working on these types of things for months and 
you know, you're just depending on views themselves. You're depending on the YouTube algorithm to promote those videos. There is a very thin chance that your video is going to be promoted through YouTube. Um, just by the little things, man. Like it's really hard with YouTube's algorithm today to actually get some decent views on your, on your videos. And I know that it's not always about the views, which it's really not, but, but every YouTuber out there wants to get that. You know what I mean? Every YouTuber wants their stuff to be seen, uh, their hard work to be seen out there. And that's the point of being a YouTuber, man. Like obviously you do it for the hobby. You do it for the creativity, for the fun. But after years and years of doing this, it's like, Times are hard nowadays, man, and, and for me to be, uh, you know, making these types of videos in my free time uh, with the little time that I have, uh, it's it's kind of hard to be like, all right, I'm going to do this video for like maybe 4K views. I'm trying not to sound greedy in any way. Like it, it kind of feels like, all right, if I'm going to do these movies, I need to start getting more money. You know what I mean? I don't want it to sound like that, but a man's got to do what a man's got to do to, uh, you know, get something back for his hard work. But the thing that I get most out of this is entertaining you guys, man. I love seeing your guys' reactions, your comments. Like, holy crap, did you guys see that edited scene he did? Like, it looked so cool when he crashed through that window. Oh, man, the sound effects were on point. They're going to continue to be on point, man, because it, just your guys' feedback means the most, man. That's what I, I love most about it, so... That being said, folks, comment below what you think about that, man. Give me your feedback. Let me know. Be honest. Mike the Hunter doesn't take anything personal, man. I'm, I'm all about growth. I'm all about elevation. I'm all about evolving these G.I. Joe movies into something bigger. Obviously, with the more money I make back on these, the more characters I can get, the more vehicles I can get in these films, the more quality premium sound effects and explosions i can put into these man i, I really want to make these go big big enough to where maybe hasbro could see them i will be honest i've i saw plenty of comments of people saying dude after watching these movies i didn't give a shit about joe's but i ordered the entire series after watching this like dude i'm promoting hasbro's product so i hope they see this and maybe think holy crap maybe we can do some business with mr hunter i don't know but again, folks, leave your feedback down below. I will be sure to read your comments. Uh, thank you so much, man. So let's go ahead and pop this guy out right here. This is a Python patrol officer that I scored at Target. It was the last one on the shelf. And I thought, you know what? If I don't get this guy now, when am I ever going to get him? I want one of these troopers to use in uh, my future films. I want at least one of every trooper. So uh, sweet look at the box here, man. These patrol officers are cool. They come with a lot of accessories. The green, the green uniform was a little eh to me. Uh, that's why I didn't really go crazy about these. Like I'm, I'm a sucker for the, the infantry troopers. I'm a sucker for the bat soldiers. Uh, so this one was like, eh, whatever, I'll wait on it. But when it came to the last one being sold, I had to grab them off the shelf, man. Very cool. Get you a close look here. Take the helmet off. I like this one has a darker skin tone. That way it doesn't look like the same exact guy with every soldier that comes out. Cool Python patrol box. Not really gonna need those. For those of you who actually collect GI Joe classified series, you know what kind of articulation they come with, with these troopers. And this is pretty much exactly the same as the uh, officer that we got before this, the blue one. So I'm piecing together his weapons here the new released figures that Hasbro had shown us on the uh, the live stream. Dude, those figures look good. I'm talking shipwreck. I'm talking torpedo. I'm talking rock and roll. All of those figures that they show, oh my gosh, dude, snow job. All those figures looked so good. And I, I pre-ordered a couple of them. It just sucks that you have to wait so long for those figures to come out. Like September seems so far away, but uh, we all know that time flies. Time goes by fast. And and I already have the story and the script written down for uh, GI Joe Classified Part Two: Cobra Strikes Back. That's the title I'm sticking with for now. Uh, it might change in the future, but Cobra Strikes Back, I think that's a good one. But you know, with sequels, they could always go wrong, man. Like, people make sequels, and the second one is so much shittier than the original. 
So I, I, I don't want to... I've seen enough of that with a lot of movies that, that I really enjoyed the, uh, the, on the first time around. But with this second one, I'm, I'm going to try to make things just so much better, man. Character development, better vehicles, better action. You know it. All right, so we got the Pytron. Pytron, you idiot. We have the Python patrol officer here, looking cool. I'm excited to use this guy next to um, Copperhead. There's so many GI Joe names, bro. I'm excited to use this guy next to Copperhead. I think he's gonna match the the uniform color with him. This guy gives me uh, like a jungle vibe, like he belongs in the jungle with Copperhead, following Copperhead and his orders. Oi, who are you? I am Kamakura. All right, so I just wanted to unbox that uh, before I did it on my own. I don't like unboxing stuff on my own because I like to share the excitement with you guys. You guys know how I do it. But yeah, guys, I just wanted to sit down and hype the film up a little bit, get you guys excited for it. It's gonna be dropping Wednesday. Don't forget, I will let you guys know when the film is going to be dropped, uh, you know, with the exact time, but I'm thinking maybe 4.30 to 5 p.m. Pacific Standard, so um, just a heads up, man. And when you guys watch these videos, man, let me know what you think. Let me know your favorite parts of the movie. Uh, let me know who your favorite character was, their voice, everything. Like, that just shows me what I should continue to do more of and what I should sort of cut back on. Creators love hearing feedback because it's how they improve themselves and it's how they get the motivation to do more. I'm gonna get out of here, folks. I'm gonna go uh, put Kamakura here back on his shelf. Make sure you guys are keeping an eye out for my YouTube shorts because that's where I will be posting the updates for the movie. So do not miss out, G.I. Joe fans. We will see you Wednesday the 29th. Kamakura, a tale in Tokyo. I hope you enjoy your figs. I hope you enjoy your families. I hope you enjoy the film. And as always, good hunting. Peace!